Good morning, fish pickles. I want to show you a little experiment I'm doing here and why I'm doing it. Why I'm doing it is a good question. I want to know if I can put a Venturi style protein scammer in the return section of a sump, not this sump, any sump. Now normally uh, the sump, uh, the, the protein skimmer is in a section of the sump where the water level doesn't change. That's what this baffle is for. Uh, because the reason is these style, of, uh, the needle wheel, the protein, the skimmers are very sensitive to uh, the change in water height. And let me show you, I'm going to change this water height by just a teeniest little amount like that. And you see everything drops. So that's not even a half inch off the bottom. I picked that up and it drastically affected the, <clears throat> the change in the water column. So if you had that in the return section where the water level is changing, uh, you would never keep it tuned. So I drug out my old infamous and dreaded Cyclone protein skimmer. Uh, this is a very old one. And this is a classic Venturi protein skimmer. It has a power head, uh, which is going to shoot the water into a chamber on the bottom that's offset, and it's going to create a vortex coming up while injecting air through this tube through the power head. So I, I, when this comes on, it's going to set the water at about six inches, which is, which is a normal height. And then we're going to look at it, and then we're going to start taking water out and see what happens. Hang on. Here we go. I fired her up. Our tornado is coming. The foam is coming. You can see why people don't like these anymore. They're very, very loud. Here we go. So we got some pretty good foam. And from the top of this ridge, it looks like it's about... I'm going to say a half inch down from the top. So we got good foam generation and we're about a half inch from from the top. Okay, let's take some water out and see what happens. Okay, I took out about an inch. So we're down about an inch. Each one of these tick marks is an inch. And there's not been much of a change. Uh, it might be down a little bit further, but it's not much. We still got good, good foam. Let's keep going. Okay, there's another inch out. So now we're down to four inches of water. Uh, the tornado's not looking quite as good to me. And you can definitely see a, a difference here. I'd say it's down another quarter of an inch. So we're down to either like three quarters or an inch. Now, two inches reduction uh, in the return section of the sump is a lot. So there's, there's no need to go any further than that. But I can still tell this is going to work. One of the reasons is the cup has a great big nipple on it that extends all the way down in there. So I don't think it's going to be a problem at all. I think it is going to work in the return section of the sump. So uh, if anybody needed to know that, here's the data. <laughs> See you later.